the very same Neon that's been doing damage as of late? Or is this a, a different Neon? The Karin player? Uh, yes. So I, that's Neon Verte. That's what I thought, I don't yeah. know what he looks like, though. Yeah. So we'll see. Me neither. We're getting mixed up in the names. Irregardless, uh, being high up in the bracket as we are, um, I can expect some, some very high-level play from both these individuals. And this is something I like to see. We okay, have a so Sakura player using uh, Sakura now. That is that is cool. I have no choice but to cheer for this individual. Okay. So we this is the neon. Yep, it is I'm the neon. Of. Yeah, Colleen, right? Yeah. That's the cool thing about coming to these events. I get to see players that I've only ever seen sort of replays of. Yeah. In the flesh. Round one. Fight. One of the uh, one of the first ever Collins I saw doing anything anywhere. Um, definitely a character loyalist. Sonagi. He's in Sakura, who is a uh, a much maligned character. I know oh. there was a lot of uh, people that wanted to try her out on her release and were definitely disappointed uh, by her her power level in comparison to some others. Oh no, big drop. See, the the thing with Sakura is like she. It's not that she doesn't have good things. And I believe that Kid Devu showed that there is potential there. Yeah, he had a really good performance at Evo Japan. Yep. And uh, I mean, that's as far oh, as tournament nice. play goes. Online, you know, I've seen many a Japanese Sakura do a ton of work against high level players. And um, it's just a matter of, of getting more tournament exposure. Oh, look at that. Oh, that was That was fantastic. a great conversion. Yep. Kusanagi's really impressing now. Not able to punish, unfortunately. Nice tick throw. And that's one thing I'll give me every time is Sakura's throw. She has one of the most deceiving throw ranges. I never know when she's actually in range and when she's going to go. But she's got decent walk speed. All the crush counter yeah. activation. We should do a nice chunk. Oh, oh for the bait. Yeah. Wow, cross Tekken, nice. standing light yeah, punches. Yeah. No bait, but no biting. Oh, the composure. Oh, oh very, let's it go. Cancel straight in. <laughs> Kusanagi making the most of that. Yeah. Representing Mexico, of course. Color me impressed. I thought that was a, a great game. <coughs> great game. Very impressive performance. And what I liked about it was he showed both composure at a range distance and up close as well. He was willing to take chances. Um, and it was, I felt it was really hard to get a read on him. He didn't know what he was going for. Uh, you know, sure, some of the shimmy attempts and stuff didn't work out, but even when it didn't work out, he was, wasn't was putting himself at risk by, by failing the shimmy attempt. Nice conversion off the counter hit. Interruption. And Eon finding his way out of the corner now. Activates. And that slide. That was... Such a good idea. Yeah, you need to know where the holes are in that yep. EX uh, hail cancel. And you need to end up moving forward as well with whatever you do, otherwise you'll get clipped and Yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely convinced that Kusanagi has definitely had plenty of Colleen experience. You yeah, you tell. have to. He was so ready. Nice oh, use of that. Huge damage. Oh, and he blocked that Look south that. as well. Wow. Yeah, Kusanagi definitely knows what's going on. Doesn't quite get the kill. Oh, oh the spear straight through the fireball. That was a bad oh, fireball to throw. Yeah. So unfortunately, he almost got the critical art. Yes. Had the sliver left and gave it away. There's the trap. The knee on the ball base. gets crush counter with that hard punch. What's the hell? No quick rise. Nope. Nice interruption again. Kusanagi's got a lot of mileage off that interruption. Light punching confirms every time. Yeah, see, the, the, the difference right now in this in this game, as aside from the first one, is I feel like they're going 50-50 in terms of, of, of whose turn is whose. Yeah. But Sakura's damage is just so minimal compared to Colleen's. 
when she converts, but he's having to put in much more work. Final round. Oh, big jump in. Counter hit something, so he was trying to anti air Gets crushed, countered yeah, again. Stun, oh, yeah. All the buttons are coming out, and Neon oh. is getting opened up. Oh, goes for the reset. Oh, the shimmy, non shimmy. That's a brave jab yeah. interruption. No punish on that. It's minus four at least. Wow. And Neon's going to have was... to bring out his trickiest shenanigans yes. to bring this back, I think. Any touch should get the kill. Sakura able to confirm into That's that it. critical That's arc. Done. It's over. And the DP, and there's a critical arc. Wow. And Kusanagi takes it 2 0 for Mexico. Neon sent to loser's bracket. Very impressive performance from Kusanagi unveiling that Sakura, which I'm sure uh, he's been working on for a couple of months now. I'm definitely out of date. I know him from using his Karen from the last mm -hmm. few seasons, but it was a real pleasure uh, to see a Sakura it of that level was. performing. Yep. It, the the thing is, I mean, it, there's there's a certain character unfamiliarity, uh, but it goes both ways, because not understanding how to use a character against the the cast is one thing. Yeah. But the opposite is also true. The cast doesn't know how to fight your character as well. So you kind of saw how Colleen wasn't prepared for him punishing those gaps in her offense. Yeah. And. I think that was really the difference maker, aside from him keeping his composure in both a close range and a long range distance. So, I mean, that was a very polished Sakura, um, and I, I hope we can see more of her.